that there was a book put out many years ago uh, that was a phenomenally important book called Four Arguments for the Elimination of Television Mm. by Jerry Mander, M-A-N-D-E-R. Four Arguments for the Elimination of Television. And in this book, the, the man who wrote it was the head of an advertising agency in San Francisco that, that advertised the biggest corporations in the world. He was in charge of uh, promoting Ford Motor Company, General Electric, General Motors, etc. And his company was very, very large. And he said in his book that he quit. He walked off and, and wa- walked away from the industry because he wanted to tell the people what was really going on with television. And he explained how television actually works and who founded it, who did the experimenting on television and, and brought it into our world, and how it works and what it does and uh, electrically what it does with us. And he was saying that the Germans, the Nazis, were very big on working up, trying to come together, bring their t- their knowledge together to create what they called television. Mm-hmm. The Nazis were. It was a Nazi operation to try and figure out how to uh, give pictures to the human population on the earth, how you could uh, propagandize them with movies and television and pictures and sounds. And so it has a Nazi connection, uh, you know, television does. But the other point he, he brought out, I think it was a very germane to what we're talking about, is that television is firing the, uh, the, the, the picture tube is firing, uh, uh, a rays, uh, electronic signals and the, and there's the electronic signals that fire the pictures onto the screen is also has another electronic signal connected to it it's called it's called it's, uh, uh, the term he used uh, i seem to recall it was like a writing uh, this other signal was writing on the main signal to send you the pictures the carrier wave there's another yeah and so that other signal that you don't see is designed, it was based on something called Earth Resonant Frequency. Mm-hmm. Earth Resonant Frequency was a frequency of, of uh, vibrations and sound that uh, puts you to sleep. That's why he says it's the same frequency if you sit under a big tree and 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 a metal with uh, everything is very quiet, very peaceful. You're sitting on the ground and you're laying up against the tree and you fall asleep. It's called earth frequency. There's a frequency that the earth is giving off that you are feeling as a human and it puts you to sleep. And so he says, so the same frequency and he gave the he gave the number of it and explained it and he said that that's what's when you sit down to watch TV, it is designed, television is designed to, to hit your brain with an earth resonant frequency as it is giving you audio and video pictures. Mm-hmm. And what it's doing is putting your brain to sleep so that you will not give it, you will not have any problem accepting whatever it is you're seeing is putting your brain to sleep with something called earth resonant frequency. And and the mind goes to sleep, even though you're sitting there with your eyes open, your brain is sleeping, and you don't even realize it. Now they're telling you stuff on the television, you know, the television show, which is propaganda, is putting you to sleep and telling you what you to, what you should think and how to think and how the how to view things. So it's a it's a propaganda machine. But he mm-hmm. said. Uh, the point I really liked is he said something to the effect that television is propaganda, but propaganda does not deceive you. Propaganda helps you to deceive yourself. You're buying into it when you sit there in front of a television and watch it so-called news programs of the net, the network news. Uh, it's actually a propaganda machine to put you to sleep so you will believe whatever it tells you. 